I am Groot! Nice of you three to show up. Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Merging minds, huh? This is getting a little intimate, Mantis. We have to get close so that my mind can see far. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh... Bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party started. It'll be fun. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, we charge the forge. We can revive life. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You, you can sense Drax, but Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. gonna keep us from falling apart. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? We 
We're going to sell Thanos' body! We all stay. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling, but please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your... Happiest moment with them. I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. I... Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her. What does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! Oh no. Drax! Oh god, I feel terrible. We all thought Drax was dead. We may have assumed too quickly. Oops. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking.
that's the bridge. Huh. <laughs> makes sense. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I always thought I drove him crazy. He's always so cranky when I'm around. Friendships are complicated, especially when emotional vulnerability goes against your outward personality. I'm sure what he says and what he feels are very different. So we found Rocket. What now? There are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. this place. I've been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? We all created the Guardians because none of us had anywhere else to go. This is the only place Gamora could think to return to. She might have unresolved feelings attached to this place. Rocket stayed with us. So that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy. For someone such as yourself, not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Surprising people is my specialty. Yes, and you are certainly full of surprises. So, guess we just have to pick them up. Who should we get first? We'll grab Gamora first, then Drax. Let's go! Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Nah, I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve, following me here of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave, or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! Ah! Whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? Oh, sorry I didn't get the chance to mention it in the two seconds before you freaking attacked me! He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! Look, I, I didn't know how to find you, so Mantis helped me search for you with her empath powers. And when we were doing that, I, uh, I felt Drax. Oh god, that sounds disgusting. I didn't really, I didn't feel him. I, I was just, I was inside Drax. No, I was not, wait, I was not inside Drax. I was just, I, we, we were, we, he's alive. Ah! 
What? Ugh, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. I thought you'd be happy. I am happy. Are you sure? You're yelling. Ugh, it's just... So Drax happened to survive. But you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something. Anything! I gave Drax what he wanted. He asked me to let him go. It wasn't easy for me, but I'd do it again. How can you possibly say that? You shrugged through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. You were as much of a victim as Nebula was. But Thanos is to blame. Not you. Thanos may have given the order, but the blade was in my hand. Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. Gamora, enough. We're the only ones who can help. So you can spend the rest of your life reflecting on what went wrong, or come with me and do something right. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Mora, I came here because I... because I missed you. Peter, I... I missed you too. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. Why don't you trust me then? Let me share that burden with you. Carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and not feeling like you're making it any better. I feel that too. I'm just so... so tired. Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. Oh, I get it. You're attracted to me, aren't you? Don't worry, it happens. A lot. Do not be vulgar. You have taken Baldin hostage. And I want him back. I do not know how you did it, 
But I want him back. Now! I want the Eternity Forge back in my hands. You return that to me, you get your son. You think I will just forfeit it to you? Absolutely not. Baldin. What the? What the? I am Groot. You have to stop this mother. It's madness. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him in any way, I will repay it one thousand fold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings. <sighs> that felt good. I... I can't believe you hung up on her. I've always wanted to do that. You're unbelievable, Quill. I know my mother. She'll be setting a course for nowhere right now. None of your friends or associates are safe. Even your home worlds could be at risk. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. We've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with her before and we can do it again. And this time, we'll win. She's coming from nowhere. We've got to hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. What about that giant monster? What if it's still alive? Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did- That worm! Was- That was- You came out of it! Like you were inside it, and then you, you came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill. <sighs> now what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... Proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. I don't know. Maybe this means that you moved on from your loss. If that is true, then it is as I had feared. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration, and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kumaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try, For someone who says he wants to die, you suck at it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Drax. Maybe, uh, maybe you're just invincible. Of course. I must be invincible. But this only makes things worse. I 
was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians, but part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... The Forge hasn't been destroyed. We can get it back. And you can see Kamaria again. You know, with... without dying. Yes. That would give me a reason to not be dead. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala. The Milano isn't garbage. Oh, oh, oh no. No, really it is. It is truly disgusting. Ask Rocket. He thinks the same. Wait, wait, wait. What? Now that I am here, let us go retrieve the Cranky Assassin. Cranky, huh? Oh. I assumed you would get me first, as I am your favorite and most loyal friend, who has never done you any harm and has harmed all of your enemies. Rip. Remember that little detail where we all thought you were dead? I do, and it is not little. Recovering my body for a hero's burial should have been your priority. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. We kind of made a mess out there. Now we gotta clean it up. We? Okay, some of us made it more than others. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. But the short version is, we captured Hala's son. That's only gonna piss her off more. That was a bold plan, Quill. I did not think you up to such cunning. If Hala is focused on us, maybe she'll stop killing innocent people. What about me? I'm an innocent person too. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. That's as good a place to start as any. And it's the only plan we've got. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. It's amazing how much I miss the stars. Being trapped in a sarcophagus for- Ah... Uh, 
Hey! What do you want? I have nothing to say to you. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. Hala's too powerful. She has to be eliminated for good, and we are at an impasse. There is no need for us to speak any further. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most Beautiful sight I have ever seen. Drax. <laughs> you are a beast. I can't believe you did all that. I agree. It was quite impressive. Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged, moist, reeking, victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Gamora. Hey. <laughs>